Welcome back to the official Zap Hosting YouTube channel. In today's tutorial, I will show you how to install Proxmox Virtual Environment on your dedicated server. So let's get started. Proxmox is a free virtualization management solution built to manage and operate virtual machines and other virtualized environments. Installing Proxmox on our dedicated server is very easy. Zap Hosting offers a wide range of dedicated servers with different configurations, so you can choose one based on your needs. You can also purchase up to 100 unique IP addresses to use with your server. Here's a special gift from us. Use code PROXMOX10 to get a 10% instant discount. Once your payment is processed, your server will be ready in just a few minutes. Turn on the dedicated server, then click on Initial Installation. Click on Enable ILO and after a few seconds it will be enabled. Then you need to select ISO. Click on the drop down menu, select the latest Proxmox version and click on Insert. After doing this, step 3 will unlock. Click on the boot from ISO restart button and it will restart in few seconds. Then click on step 4 which says Open ILO. It will take you to the ILO login page and you need to enter the credentials which were present in the dashboard while enabling ILO. After logging in, click on HTML5 and it will open an integrated window in that tab. First, you need to verify if your selected ISO image is loaded or not. To do that, click on the DVD icon in the window and hover on the CD DVD option, which will show the name of your ISO. If it's not there, that means your ISO is not loaded and you need to check or redo the ISO selection part. Meanwhile, our ISO has loaded on the server and the Proxmox welcome page will appear. Select the graphical installer. Wait for a few seconds and you will have to accept Proxmox Aula via the I agree button on the bottom right. It will ask you to select a disk which will be pre-selected if there is one. If you wish to set up RAID, you will have to use the options button to select your choice of RAID mode. We recommend RAID 1 which mirrors both drives and continue. Next, you will be asked about your country and time zone. Select according to you and click next. Now you need to give it a password. Set a secure eight character long password with a combination of letters, numbers, and symbols. Then provide your email address, which will be used to send you important alert notifications, and then press next. Now comes an important step, the network configuration. In hostname, you can use any domain you have pointed to the IP address, or you can use Zap's provided hostname, which will be present in your dashboard. The IP section should be automatically populated in most cases. If it isn't auto-populated or you wish to use one of the additional IP addresses that you purchased, you will have to access your dashboard to find the necessary details. Simply head over to the dashboard and on the left, click on IP addresses. You will see all your purchased IP addresses. Copy the details and add them to the Proxmox setup. Then click next. At last it will show you the summary. Just verify and click on install, which will take a few minutes and the server will automatically restart. After Proxmox boots, it will display the IP and port for accessing the interface. Open this address in your browser, then log in with root as the ID and for the password, enter the one you set during the initial setup process. Congratulations! You have successfully installed Proxmox. With Proxmox, you can now create your own LXE containers or virtual machines. Remember to upload the ISO image first by heading to local storage then upload directly from your PC or you can download from a URL or from the templates. Let's try making a container. Click on the Create CT button on the top right and give it a host name and password. Then in templates, select the ISO image which we loaded earlier. Next, select the storage and disk settings. Next, for the cores, select the cores you want to give to the VM. Do the same with memory. Provide the RAM you want it to have in MB and click Next. Now comes the network details. If you want your server just to be connectable via the Proxmox interface or locally hosted, then you can press Next. If you want it to be accessible publicly, you need to assign it an IP address that you have purchased additionally. Head over to the IP address page in the Zap interface. Copy the additional IP address and the gateway address, then enter them exactly as shown in this video. Once you've entered the details, click Next to complete the setup. Your container will set up instantly. You can perform various tasks via Proxmox itself, but if you need to connect to it via remote access directly, 
you may need to change some settings via your Linux interface. That's the easiest way to have your own dedicated Proxmox server. During this process, if you face any issues, feel free to reach out to our support team by creating a ticket on our website or using live chat, and we will be more than happy to help you out. Have a lovely rest of the week and enjoy your Zap server.